Y'all bring that guy with the girl, the daughters? Oh, the Lord do. He's already in a mental guy with the daughters. He's married. He got two children. And the Lord set a bush on fire. And the bush burns, but does not consume. Now, Moses, being raised in the sciences of Egypt, knows that fire consumes. What kind of fire is this that does not consume? What kind of... Either, there's got to be two things going on here. Either we have come up with a brand new bush, or else we've come up with a brand new fire. Moses is 80 years old. He's been keeping the sheep for 40 years. 80 years old. Keeping the sheep for 40 years. See, some of you all been gave up in 40 years. Some of you all been gave up on the purpose of God in 40 years. You all said, Lord, amen, you should have used me when I was 40. <laughs> and the church said, amen. You should have used me when I was, you know, in my prime. And the church said, <laughs> You should have used me when I had black hair. <laughs> and the church said, <laughs> But here it is, church. If we can get in a, in a very brief moment, there's places where we're going to go, and it's going to be just for brief snippets of time until you can begin to walk in. These places are when you can step outside of the flesh and walk in the spirit. And you begin to see that your flesh can't hold you back from anything. See, when we say, Lord, you should have used me when I was 25. What we are saying is that my flesh determines my capability. But your flesh don't determine your capability in God. Man, God can take 80-year-old flesh and turn it into 20-year-old ability. <laughs> God can take a 100-year-old flesh Amen. Come on, somebody. And he can wake, he can, he can shake that flesh and wake it up. And he said, now you're going to have a son that, that I call you. Amen. Amen. He can take, Amen. I'm talking about, and not, not, not just a man. He, he took a, a woman with 90-year-old flesh and he woke it up. And he said, now you've never, amen, been impregnated with a son. Now you're going to bear, amen, my seed. Hallelujah. 90-year-old woman. He took Elizabeth, who was also up there. He woke her flesh up. Church of God, it's important for us not to relegate God to our flesh and say, Lord, amen, just let me see you in the spirit. Amen. Don't let me limit you according to my flesh. So, oh, Lord, have mercy. Amen. Church of God, somebody, oh, can we just stop and give the Lord a over 40, would you all give God a hand for All of y'all who never reached 40, y'all don't even know what the deal is yet. But anyway. <laughs> so, amen. Because, because what, we, what, what we end up doing is we, my God, we tend to think we limit God. If we can step into this place, don't limit God based upon your flesh. Amen. Amen. You, you might say, as Brother Bobby was talking about the exercise today, don't limit God based upon your ability to exercise. Because, because God can wake you up. Amen. So that you can do what the scriptures say. I can run through troops and leap over, over walls. God can wake your flesh up. Amen. Church, don't you all realize that flesh in, it, in, in its beginning would live to be 900 years old? My God, God can wake your flesh up to live to be 900. God is not limited by your flesh.
So here it was, Moses was 80 years old, and God had to first get his attention, and then the Lord woke him up. My God, he woke him up to the place of realizing that my people are suffering, and you need to go back to deliver my people. Church, I say to us today, amen, forget about your, I know it's difficult for you to do, but amen, it's time for you to not limit God based upon your flesh. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, what, what we've got to be able to say, God, you are able. God, you are able. God, you are able. God, you are able. Amen. You are Amen. able, Lord. Amen. You are able, Lord. I'm not limited by what the world would call heart disease because God is able. I'm not limited by what the world would call diabetes because God is able. Ah, oh, Church of God, if I can say this right here, we, I just got a call from, amen, you all know that uh, the couple that, that uh, called me, amen, the other night when we were here, Tuesday night, she's back in the hospital and, and she's having uh, problems with the pregnancy. She's six months. Amen. But we are believing that God is able Amen. to deliver this right. baby, not premature, but to, but to deliver this baby healthy. Amen. Because I believe that this is a prophet that's in the womb. Amen. Right now, she is going through. Church, amen. Hallelujah. It would be easy to say, well, you go, the next one won't be no problem. No, this one go come forth in the name of Jesus. Amen. Church of God, we've got to be able to say God is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that work where? In us. So, amen, I'm not going to limit God, amen, with what my mouth, amen, refused to say. I'm not limit God based upon what my mind refused to think. Because whatever he, whatever I can think, whatever I can say, he's greater than that. Yes. So what I want to do is get in the spirit yes. and say, God, you are able, amen. amen. God, you are able. God, you are able. Yes. Church of God. Amen. And Forest Lord, you call them up when you leave here as a council of. <laughs> amen. Some folks didn't understand, so for those who did, y'all just say amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Y'all cancel those plans because God didn't call you to die, He called you to live and proclaim His name in this generation. 